Okay, so let's begin. Uh, I normally use uh, Debian 12 and uh, EXWM, but for the purposes of these videos, I'm going to uh, record them all in this uh, virtual machine, which have just uh, got a basic uh, Fedora setup here, so it should be a pretty common setup. Um, good for demonstration purposes. It's uh, the LXDE desktop. Um, so the first thing we need to do, having got a working uh, Wibble installation, uh, is basically we need to initialize it. So um, presumably you have uh, Wibble somewhere in your path. So here we have it on uh, local bin Wibble. And um, the very first thing we need to do is basically you can use Wibble to generate its initial configuration file with all of the core settings. So we do Wibble init. Uh, and as you can see, it asks you to set up a fresh new Wibble installation. Uh, do we want to proceed? Uh, yes. So enter on lowercase a. And uh, as we can see here, I've installed uh, RipGrep on this uh, virtual machine. Uh, that's the only thing that's absolutely, um, well, either RipGrep or uh, GNU RecUtils are required. You can use either. Uh, RipGrep is the recommended uh, choice because I've rebuilt everything uh, to make use of RipGrep. Um, and of course you can just install uh, both of them if you want absolutely all the functionality. The The only thing you miss out on by not having RecUtils installed is um, some of the very advanced uh, searching uh, capability if you want to directly enter a a rec cell compatible search query where you're doing, you know, um, include this but exclude this and after such and such a date. Uh, but I'd imagine that for 99.99% .99 of users, that's not going to be of much interest. Uh, so um, I might cover that in another video. But uh, really, all you need is uh, rip grep installed. Um, but th there's really no harm in installing both. I mean, basically, you're talking a few megabytes for the rip grep if you don't already have it installed. It's a phenomenal tool. And again, GNU Rec Utils, we're talking a few megabytes. These are both command line tools. So really, you could just install them both and then you can explore everything at your leisure. But uh, on this virtual machine, as I say, we've got rip grep uh, set up. So we've got, we're good to go, basically. Um, right, so... Basically, the first thing we need to do, as the question kind of indicates there, is input the kind of main or the root Wibble directory. So this is kind of like your base directory for everything else. Now, um, by default, it will kind of uh, opt for, uh, you know, home documents Wibble, kind of following the kind of standard XDG uh, desktop kind of um, specs. So probably most uh, typical Linux users are probably following this and storing all their things in under documents, but of course, you know, you could store them wherever you like, you know, uh, dot wibble or, uh, you know, an entirely different uh, file system if you want, whatever that base directory is, um, but we'll keep it at the kind of default. So we'll store under documents and wibble. So everything is going to be stored under wibble. So we'll accept that. Um, the backup directory. In, this should obviously be outside of that Wibble tree because the idea is we can run the backup command and back up all of our notes, all of our attachments, all of the data. and So we want that outside of that main Wibble tree. Uh, again, so you can put this wherever you like, um, but we'll, we'll stick with this default, which is documents, uh, backup, and then Wibble. So the main tree is under Wibble and the main backup tree is under backup Wibble. So totally two separate entire trees. Uh, terminal editor command, so pretty self-explanatory, so you can put whatever you like here, you know, Vim, Micro, uh, Emacs client, uh, Nano, uh, whatever your choice is, but really this should be, as the name suggests, a terminal editor, um, not a GUI editor. So I'm going to leave that on Vim. Uh, now you get to specify your GUI editor, so if you want to use VS Codium or VS Code or uh, Emacs or uh, XFWrite or Mousepad or whatever you want, um, you can put that here. So on this virtual machine, I think I've got a Leafpad available, so I'm going to use that. 
the file manager again this is your graphical file manager unless you kind of use something like um, Midnight Commander in which case you probably want to do something like Xterm EMC uh, or whatever your terminal command to then fire up Midnight Commander um, but probably most users are, will want their graphical file manager here so again we'll go with PC Man FM because that's uh, already installed on this uh, virtual machine and our uh, graphical file management tool again you could use a com command line one here if you want to supply like uh, you know um, you know LX terminal execute and then the name of your uh, uh, CLI file manager but we'll, we'll stick with the um, graphical one so X archiver and finally uh, this uh, temporary kind of file directory this is basically used for kind of temporary backups and uh, uh, temporary working file so really you should put this under your assuming you have your user has uh, right access to the um, main kind of TMP directory you should put it somewhere under there but of course you can put this wherever you like but I'm just going to leave that on the default of temp uh, forward slash wibble hyphen temp and uh, it uh, then basically presents the um, uh, the, the generated options and just confirms that we want to write them out now the it the the last question was never asked there because we only have rip grep installed if i had both rip grep and rec utils installed it would have actually asked me do i want to use rip grep or rec utils as the operation mode um as i say for most users you should just use rip grep so install rip grep and use uh, rip grep uh, if that's the only one you've got installed, it won't even ask you. It will just use that. Okay, so basically here's the uh, the configuration settings it's going to write out. So if you're happy with all of those, then you simply press uh, Y at this uh, prompt. Um, now, uh, one last thing I should say is, uh, you know, for things like your editor command, if you want to put command line switches, you could have done that. So, uh, you know, the editor I've got here is just uh, Vim. But, for example, I could have typed Vim... Uh, and then plus uh, like a hundred thousand if I wanted to always make sure it basically opens the file and jumps right to the end of the the file automatically or any other kind of command line switches so if you need other command line switches provided they don't interfere with the operation you can obviously just stick them on there you don't need to use quotation marks or anything just just enter them um, so yeah no quotation marks just just enter your paths or, or your options so we're gonna say yes and it's been written out. So basically, uh, that has initialized everything, and we're now basically good to go.